Yeah. Okay. How would you summarize it? The C to N and how to how to make it work best for you so that you can take a tool, the tools, you know, and implement it on your farm. Yeah. Um, when applying nitrogen. When applying nitrogen. So long story short, so if your carbon to nitrogen ratio is very tight or closer to one to one, which like I said, the lowest I've seen is seven to one. When you see that situation, you're going to see a huge benefit of split applying nitrogen because you're not throwing that system out of whack then. But if you get to more to your 15 to 18 to 1, you can do more front loading there. Okay. Now, with that being said, also think about previous crop history. Okay, Because if you have wheat stubble out there, you could take a sample and your carbon to nitrogen ratios a 10. Okay. But you got to remember how much carbon's in that stubble. Okay. As that breaks down throughout the season, it's just going to keep shooting more carbon into it. So you could throw 20 pounds more just to help break that down. And that's what you're giving the bugs to start breaking things down. Um, utilizing cover crops, understanding when that plant is in this growth stage, the taller it gets, the further the carbon to nitrogen ratio or the more carbon that's there. Okay. So if you have a very, if you have a seven to one to start, maybe let that rye grow. Mm. If you're sitting at a 13, 14 where you're at, that's good. Got Terminate it. it. Got it. So, um, but strictly with nitrogen, it really comes down to if you're pretty much below, I would say 11 is your sweet spot. If you're below 11, you're going to see probably huge benefits from split applying. Huge benefits. Like it's going to be night and day. And adding carbon to the system. Yes. Okay. Yes. And adding the carbon is not quote unquote for the carbon to nitrogen ratio. Okay. The carbon is strictly so you have a simple sugar for the biology to consume. Okay. But once you get above that, you can kind of look at these numbers and be like, can, am I able to get, maybe put two passes on and have your split 50-50. Okay, if you have a two-pass system, your carbon and nitrogen ratios, one, seven to one. Maybe it's a 20%, 80%. Hmm. Or if it's 18 to one, you put on 80% in the beginning, 20% later. Sure. You know, that's where you use that carbon to nitrogen ratio to help tell you where to put your nitrogen or when to put it to be the most efficient. Got it. So that's why, like with our sand, nine to one is usually where we're at. Okay. We will split apply three to four times. And I'm not going to sit here and say end all be all. I've seen carbon to nitrogen ratios at 14, 15, and a split application at tassel still paid. So... And I think that was more of a plant health thing, though, not a soil thing. Got it. So, okay. Random my, question, yes. Johnny. Um, when I strip till, okay, uh, I've got some more horsepower to pull my strip till bar with now. Okay. How is it? Can you band nitrogen too deep, too shallow, and is there an optimal zone to band nitrogen at? I would say if you're banding a large amount of pounds or a decent amount of pounds, 60 pounds. Okay. Six. So still. Yeah. I mean, I like to at least wherever. So if you're planting at two inches, uh -huh. I want that still at least four inches below that at least. Okay. Um, the only argument I get to is if you say quote unquote too deep, mm -hmm. it's really how much aerobic zone you have. Sure. Because that's going to affect your conversion. That's that's more important to me than not. Because, I mean, let's just say, if you were able to throw it down 24 mm -hmm. inches, right? Well, I mean, it's going to start leaching farther before you can get it. Right. right? I mean, there's right. those factors. Um, and but the biology I, there is probably very low. Yeah. Yeah. So, as this is interesting. I was driving by, and I've heard this. This I think the hefties might have talked about it. Where does a fence post rot? Top three inches. Top three inches. Yep. You know, and I the they were digging out a county road ditch, and they were digging, and they were pulling out uh, some old telephone pole bases that were about, started about 12 inches down, and it was a still pretty solid chunk of wood. It completely rotted off, 
from there to the ground level, that top 12 inches, and then you had your old pole they were replacing. Yep. yep. But the ground, I mean, really, it's like the quality from ground, from the ground level, you go down. It was poor wood, poor wood, almost like decayed. And then it's, and then the, and then you got to a point where the deeper you went, the more, the, the higher quality the wood went. And you get yep. down to the bottom, that, you scrape the mud off, it's this dang, you're almost a new post. Darn good, good fence post <laughs> that's now, good fence you post. know? That's right. <laughs> Use that on a quarter tie. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I've been banding at six, or I've been uh, strip tilling at six inches, putting my nitrogen about five. Okay. Um, I would like to go eight to ten inches now and put it about six because I can change my delivery tube. Gotcha. Height okay. On the back yep. of my shank. Yep. Um, that's kind of where I'd like to go this year because I know strip till has taught me a lot about my land, mm-hmm. a lot. Because I'll, dude, I'll be going along, do, 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 and all of a sudden the tractor will almost like die, like like. Bleh. Yep. And anyway, I'm, visually, there I have no idea what's going on. Like, you would have never known that was yep. there. And then all of a sudden, your tractor's fighting, fighting, spinning, spinning, and then all of a sudden, boom, you break free. And it's like, wow, that was f- what happened there. Yeah. Never know. Never know. <laughs> or the low areas where water sits. Yeah. Man, that gets t- that, that water, the weight of water compaction. Oh, Killing yeah. aerobics. Um, killing aer- anaerobic. Making anaerobic Making environments. Making anaerobic, yep. You know, really hurting that soil structure. Um, so anyway, yeah, I, I, I'm using Humix in, well, on everything, but really my poorer grounds, lower organic matters, using more Humix and then pulling back on my good ground and being more intentional, or I guess being, moving more towards the biology side. Yes. You know, Fulvix or yes. Humix and, you know... Well, and yeah, uh, even like the Humix, it's not like you you pull it away. It's just you don't need as much. Yeah, you know, it's a lower amount, right? You know, even that right that book that low areas or high areas getting heavy treatment. Yes, you know, yes. trying to add air to the low areas, oxygen structure, the high area ground blown, not much left for topsoil, if any, yes. to build holding capacity, water, nutrients, etc. So, and bring some biology back. Yes. So that's yes. how I'm using on my operation. But it's a tool. It's just another tool in the handbag. Amen, brother. But that's the C to N ratio. We're already at another time. Uh, we bang. Dang, time ending. Clap, period. That's right. <laughs> you are ready to clap. <laughs> Get to write another clap. Um, so that's C to N. Man, we could really, we, I mean, we could go more on that, but that's, that's a pretty good overview uh, of carbon to nitrogen, that's I, I I'm gonna write those notes down on the ranges to shoot for, and then go off of that. So, um, any closing thoughts, ideas on the carbon to nitrogen? There's there's a lot of great resources that dive into this. Okay, cool. Pull some Haney's. Yeah, pull some Haney's. Send them to Regen or a lab that you trust that does good work. Yeah. Um, you know, man, it taught me a lot. Yeah. So, Guys, if you've liked the information that you've seen so far, go ahead and check out the full-length podcast on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe there. It's also on all the major podcast platforms. Um, We're constantly dropping info and more content on all the social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Check it out for a lot more content 